I'm really excited because we are bringing in Charlie Birdsell. He is the director of the USS Turner Joy. He's going to teach us all about the history. Mm. Thanks for being here, Charlie. Thanks for coming. You <laughs> took us on a pretty amazing tour we earlier. Did. We've got to share all your knowledge with the, all of our amazing viewers that are watching. <laughs> Do the best we can. Yeah. Where did the name USS Turner Joy come from? Well, it came from Admiral Charles Turner Joy. Mm -hmm. He was uh, very instrumental in World War II, and he was also in Korea. He was, was in charge of the Pacific Fleet. Had about 400 ships under his belt so he wow. was uh, he was very prominent mm -hmm. and he was also uh, one of the negotiators for the peace talks that were going on at that time uh, representing NATO. Mm -hmm. That is so amazing. Now walk us through where the ship was built and then outfitted because it's all very close to home. Oh it is indeed. <laughs> uh, back in 1957 they laid the keel and it was actually in Seattle out on Harbor Island oh. at the Puget Sound Bridge and Dredging Company. Okay. Uh, 1958 they launched it and in 1959 it was commissioned which also took place in Seattle, but the actual outfitting of the ship took place at the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard. Oh my gosh, and where has this ship been? Well, it, since 1982, when it was decommissioned, <laughs> it's been here in Bremerton. Right. And, but it served from 59 until 82, and it was um, mainly, uh, it, Vietnam was one of its um, main uh, goals and, mm -hmm. and part of the story. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I want to talk a little bit about its function as a museum now, mm -hmm. because we get so many people who come visit, and you were telling me the numbers are amazing, especially over the summertime. Oh, yeah. So how many people come and, and what is the experience when you see the ship just full of people exploring it? Well, it, it, it's always interesting because you get the families that have never seen a ship before. Yeah. And so they're wandering around and, and trying to find new things to look at. And mm -hmm. Kids to be able to switches to pull and lights coming on and going off, that sort of thing. Um, and then you, you also get the veterans come through um, who are uh, having a chance to relive and, and, and and point out to their family uh, what what they did and where they you know, and what kind of job they did on the ships. Mm -hmm. And then we also get the, the active military because this is the only uh, naval vessel in the Northwest, in the state of Washington, mm -hmm. that you can actually tour. And so sometimes the, f the f uh, active sailors will bring their family here <laughs> because they can't get them on their ship, but mm -hmm. they can show them, well, this is kind of what I do, and this is from from back in the day. Yeah. I want to know more about kind of the members' lives when they were on the ships, too, because you, you were pointing out a lot of cool things when we were on there. Well, uh, actually, one of our docents is, uh, was, was one of the crew members, and mm -hmm. so we, we actually have a, 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 a there's a Turner Joy reunion group that um, gathers on a regular basis to um, get together and reminisce about th their time on the Turner Joy mm -hmm. and um, many of those have actually happened at the ship itself and it's always amazing when you talk to them because uh, They'll be going by their old workstation, and they might not want to stop at it, but you can see them give it a little pat. A little tap, like they remember. Oh yeah, and then to, and then to be taken down and to, to be shown, this is exactly this is my bunk. I used to sleep here. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. Now before we wrap up, I have to know, what is the question or the comment that you just hear all the time from people who are visiting? Uh, most of the comments are. It's, I couldn't be in there because I'm too claustrophobic because <laughs> yeah. it's very confined. Um, the ladders are very steep and how did they get in and out of those beds that are so close together, those bunks? Yeah, yeah. yeah because there are three beds per bunk bed. It's <laughs> yeah. not like the bunk beds today where really? there's two. There's three. three. Yeah. Wow, wow. amazing. Yeah. You, have to, you have to remember though that those ships were built for younger men. That's mm -hmm. true. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, and anyone can take a self-guided tour, right? Yep, you absolutely. All right, we, all right. We, we bring them through, give them a, a nice map. That tell, we'll get them through all the areas that are open. Yeah. And uh, on certain days, we certainly try to have our docents here so that they can answer questions about it. Um, but most of the time, it's have at it. Yeah, oh, you guys should really check wow. it out. It was really cool <laughs> on there. Uh, thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. <laughs>